that. <laughs> um, but we've had some exciting introductions here. And now is our time when we make announcements and we introduce everybody who needs to be introduced. So let's start with Sid. Where's Sid? Sid is our youngest Democrat. And he, he brings his mother every week. And I want you to know there's a future for the Democratic Party. And he loves it. And he loves to be played with. And you feel free to make noises. Not noises. You can't make noises. But, you know, to make faces and wiggle your ears and that kind of stuff. Sid loves it. Um, Monica. Yo. Yo, Monica. Present and attended. Hi, I'm Monica. I'm with the evening program on Monday nights. We just had a, uh, we had our guest speaker, Marlena, talk last night. LGBT things, Stonewall history, background was really good, informative. We had a nice conversation afterwards. We discussed a lot of um, thoughts about what to do with the evening program. Uh, we're going to be meeting, um, as I suppose what's scheduled on the, right now is June 5th. We have uh, Samantha uh, is going to be talking to us about human trafficking. Uh, and you're all welcome to come. It costs us $10. I also am still, I am now the distributor of those signs. No matter who you are, we're glad you're on here. Ten dollars. Uh, you may order them through me, uh, and uh, come and pick them up if you'd like. And we hope to see you again. Okay, other people who need to be announced. We'll have announcements. The organizations. Um, I want to introduce Janice Alvarado here. Just wait your arm here, Janice. Janice is the person who organizes the League of Women Voters for the naturalization ceremonies. And if you're interested in working, yay! And she has um, swooped in a whole bunch of people from this group who have volunteered to work with the naturalization ceremonies. And it's, it's a hoot, folks. If, you're, if you want something you know, once or twice a month to just lift your hearts or even just do it once, it's so much fun. It's really a great thing. Um, see Janice or me or Anna, Anna with your arm. That's why I was introducing Anna to, to Janice because they, they were just charting with email. Okay, so the League of Women Voters has some deep roots in here. Um, other announcements, groups who have announcements? Alan Beerhorst at the Void House. There will be a Greg Landsman campaign fundraiser and party with live music from public figure and dancing at the Lloyd House on Saturday night. This Saturday night, 5.30. Um, bring the kids, bring your checkbook, bring some food. It's going to be a wonderful party. And Greg is a fabulous candidate, a good Democrat, and well qualified, and a, a very attractive 40-year-old political leader. We want to support him. What's he going for? No. City Council, sorry. And um, public figure specializes in protest songs. Public figure specializes in protest songs. Yes, thank you. Woo there you go. So, any other announcements? Okay. Now uh, I want I want to just make sure you know who Marlena is, and that that we're not. Marlena is, <laughs> is the one with the with the rainbow dress and hair. And she is our newsletter person, and that brings me to our next announcement, which is, if you are new to our group, everybody should have a, a name tag. Does everybody have a name tag? <gasps> William, you shouldn't do that. Um, you should have a name tag, and if you don't have a name tag, I'm, or if you're new, I want to make sure that we you get our newsletter from Marlena, and if we hold up your hand if you're new, you've never been here before, never been here before, she will give you a pen and a piece of paper, and then you can get our wonderful newsletter. And our reminder flyers. And our reminder flyers. So we have some wonderful things going on, and we make great announcements. And 
Keep your hands up. Don't put those hands down until Marlena has given you her stuff. Because she is wonderful. William got his name tag. Okay. Um, okay, the, the restrooms are across the hall. I'm Alberta Hemsley, and I have to tell you, I got back at 11.30 last night from Tucson where my daughter was graduating and getting her Ph.D. And I, con and I was staying with the former president of the Tucson, the Democrats of Greater Tucson. And she is so proud of our group here and how much we do. And I left her with a list to, to share with the uh, Democrats there because they are... They're feeling like they're spreading democracy by having groups like this spring up because of them. Uh, I have to tell you, one of the really scary things that I saw on my trip was a Titan II missile museum. They have a, there were 27 Titan II missiles uh, sites over the United States. They closed them all down. They've been down since the 80s. And uh, we went and saw one remaining one that they have kept as a museum. And we were being shown around by one of the gentlemen who used to be in that silo, who you know, had access to the button. And um, it was really scary, and I have to tell you, incredibly moving for me to have that silo there and see that incredibly A thousand square miles with one missile. And uh, the, the scary part was that those are obsolete. They now have new ones that are bigger and better. And at one point during the presentation that I went to, this is just yesterday, um, the, um, the gentleman who had, one of the guests who was with us, sit at the command chair and he says, and who is the person who tells you to push to turn the key? And the key, the, and she says, I don't know. And the rest of the people said, it's the commander in chief. And I come back to this morning and hear the new news. I haven't been out of saw the news. And I said, and now our commander in chief is. I have to tell you, it was just gave me butterflies, terrible butterflies. So, um, my trip to Tucson, sorry about that. Uh, did everybody who was new get to, got their information to Marlena? She'll, we'll pick it up at the end of the meeting. That brings us to our wonderful presentation for today, which is the Queen City Balladeers. Yeah! I got all this information about them. So our first one is going to be Dennis Allen. He's a retired special ed teacher who is now a potter in Lebanon. Now that sounds like fun. Yo, Dennis. Down in the Yo, Dennis. And um, let's wave as I introduce you. Then we also have Chris Beery. Chris Beery, wave your hand for Chris. She's a regular member here, but you'll, you'll know her better now. And she comes with her own um, support group here, a roadie named Eric Hovemeyer. <laughs> Eric Hovemeyer. He used to be computer support, but he's now retired. Uh, Chris used to be a paralegal. Um, Kabir Bakey. Baki Bakey. Bakey. He's a speech pathologist. He's retired. And then we have a fourth person, Milton Plout, a retired underwriter for Cincinnati Financial. And, um, Milton. May, hey, Milton. <laughs> and two of, all three of them are from Hamilton County, and Dennis Allen is the only one from Warren County. And when, the, when, the, when our Warren County people come, make sure you introduce yourself to Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen, who is coming up now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Queen City Balladeers. Thank you so much. 
Uh, this last year in particular has been a very rich environment for writing protest songs. I've got th three that are all originals, and just with all this thing going on, they seem to come rather easily. <laughs> Jobs and fools is running our country. Yeah. Pumps getting deeper each day. How can they promise I'll have a great future? They're taking my health care away. You know, Social Security's just draining our system. They forget all the money I've paid. If they don't, they pay back money they borrowed, I'd happily be on my way. They say Medicare is just for the greedy, let the churches build homes for the poor. Give up everything you've earned in your life, when you're old and you can't work no more. We got money for tax cuts to make the rich wealthy. Poor, grow poorer each day. I only hope somehow together we're able to find a new way. Nut jobs and fools, ladies running our country. The swamps getting deeper each day. There's blood in the streets and you can't make a living. And the merry is greater each day. America's greater each day. Get rich, and the rest of you 
people, you can be my bitch. Hey! If you want to see it done, you know you got to join the club.
seek it turn into a
talking blues song. Uh, as Dennis knows, I can't play blues. And as my husband knows, I can't talk either. So now I'm going to be see what happens. Get the fingers started again. Close the mic. Well, I had a strange dream the other day as I napped on a bench near New York Bay. I Dream Lady Liberty came alive and saw what's become of our way of life. Fake news, all right, the same old lies in shiny new packages. Well, the lady took a look around and pretty soon she began to frown. She politely inquired, hey, see who play, where's my liberty of gullity fraternity? You know those things our forefathers fought for? Mm -hmm. Men like Ben Washington and George Jefferson. I said, well, man, we used to have those here, but we traded them in for hate and fear. Your coupled masses yearning to be freer. Now all my little asses with a bitter fee. Yeah. I'm a man, that's how our esteemed president, Tweety Bird, shares his deepest thoughts. Well, she climbed on down and stamped her foot till the ground around me shivered and shook. I shook too, cause I already knew she wore a size 897 shoe. <laughs> Women's size, look it up, it's in Wikipedia, so it must be true. Who did this to you, the lady asked, as we shared a his wig for my hip glass. Good question, I said, now let me think and stay away from my go-go stick. Well, ma'am, as usual, when we met the enemy, he was us. Well, sweet lady Liberty looked away and said, the bonbons ain't ruling here today. She doused her flame and began to swim while beckoning me to jump on in. I can't, Mama said, this is how we roll, me and the crazies in the orange chair troll. Besides, all those folks in Europe are foreigners. Wow. Okay, she said, I lost the word. Okay, she said as she swam toward France, don't say I didn't give you one last chance. I wish you all a lot of luck, but it looks to me like you're a stupid cluck. That last word's friends and neighbors is French for chicken. At least I think that's what she said. My French is a little rusty. Well, I scratched my head and began to think that maybe we are really on the brink. So I relit the torch and climbed on high and hoisted it up in the stormy sky. You can hoist your torch too if you'll light one for me, I'll light one for you. And that's the way we'll all shine through. Now, my country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee we sing. to make it so if you're a member of your employer's wellness plan, if you have any DNA done through, through that wellness plan, your company gets access to that. So how scary is that? So this song started with that. Oh, the GOP 
hearts might be. Oh, the GOP wants my DNA to find out who I am. And my employer gets to see it too as part of my wellness plan. My health care's gone, but my cough hangs on. Still, I should not be alarmed. Cause I've got insurance and an HSA in exchange for my house and farm. So, whack, 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 good at budget acts. It's smooth sailing from here. Cause the GOP is in charge of me. So, what do we have to fear? They're gonna do away with the EPA. It's an inconvenient truth. Lead pipes make water taste like wine and polar bears are so uncouth. Next they'll kill our unions and give us right to work. Or decrease pay where we have no say, like those hard-working Walmart clerks. So whack, whack, whack of that budget ask it's smooth sailing from here. Cause the GOP is in charge, you see, so what do we have to fear? That Planned Parenthood is on the block, that's abundantly clear. Unless they can uh, find a way to sell Viagra and beer. <laughs> but the NIA, LSENEA, and CPB2, the DOE, ARC, and WNKU. So, yes. whack, 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 the budget acts, it's smooth sailing from here. Cause the GOP is in charge, you see, so what do we have to fear? Well, just like death and taxes, one more thing is true, that the GOP would like to see us back in 1952. Well, thank all you good people for listening to my song. I'll sing the chorus one more time if you all will sing along. So, whack, 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 good at budget acts. It's smooth sailing from here. Cause the GOP is in charge, you see. So, what do we have to fear? Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, you're fine. They're fine. <laughs> People need to leave the leave. Recognize this song, I'm sure. There's something happening here. But it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there. He's telling me I got to beware. I think it's time we stop, children. Watch that sound. Everybody look what's going down. some of it, and I won't sing the chorus in between each line. Just do a chorus a couple of times. Everybody feel free to sing along. So, I mean, you can't begin to pay homage to all the songs uh, written by Woody Guthrie and Pete Sabreham. They're timeless. So this one is definitely timeless. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. <laughs> this land was made for you and me. As I went walking that river of highway, I saw above me skyway I saw below me that golden valley this land was made for you and me I roamed and rambled and upon my footsteps through the sparkling sands of the diamond deserts where all around me a voice was sounding this land made for you and me when the sun came shining and I was strolling through the wheat fields waving and the dust clouds rolling a voice was chanting as fog was lifting this land was made for you and me this 
land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me, yes it was. As I went walking, I saw a sign there, and on the sign it said, Private property. But on the other side, it didn't say nothing. That side was made for you and me. In the squares of the city, in the shadow of a steeple, by the welfare office, I see my people. As they stood there hungry, I stood there asking, Is this land made? Yes, it is. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Nobody living can ever stop me as I go walking. That freedom highway, nobody living can ever make me turn back. This land was made for you and me, everybody. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream Water. Oh, my blood's so mad 
Just like coagulating I'm sitting here just contemplating You can't twist the truth It knows no regulation And a handful of senators Don't pass legislation It marches alone Can't bring integration When human respect is disintegrating This whole crazy world Is just too frustrating And you tell me
if you hear the song I sing, you will understand. You hold the key to love and fear, calling you trembling hands. Just one key unlocks them both, they're there at your command. Alright, come on people now, smile for brother, everybody get together. Next week, we were supposed to have David Pepper, the head of the whole Democratic Party for Ohio. But he called and canceled. I'm so excited because I get to present my substitute lesson plan. I will be talking about um, gerrymandering, and I will be teaching you all how to do the petitions for redistricting. And, way more interesting today. <laughs> and you get to color in your own map of the Ohio districts. Oh, fun. I'm a teacher. I know how to make you guys participate. Um, then after that, we have um, the heroin epidemic in Hamilton County uh, with, Doc, with Sheriff Neal and Sergeant Michael Steers. And following that, a good friend of mine, Mary Ronan, superintendent of Cincinnati Public Schools, will be talking about schools. She knows something about schools. And then, three weeks away, we have uh, the Mill Creek Watershed. So there's good stuff coming, really good stuff. So we're thanking you so much for coming today. I hope you had as good a time as I did. I really enjoyed seeing you. So thank you so much to the Queen City Ballad. That's it for today. Thank you for coming. Come again.